Alright, hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Iman Shu and we are continuing our Lightning Web Components Masterclass. In the last tutorial, we talked about the life cycle of a normal Lightning component. In this one, we are going to talk about and kind of extend our hands and get it dirty on understanding the life cycle of a parent-child component, right? Before, let me see if I were to show it to you very quickly or should I? Okay, let's not show it. So. I have this lifecycle hooks component and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another component. We are going to just understand how the constructor, the connected callback, the rendered callback, the disconnected callback and the error callback are going to be ordered when there are two components or three components, parent, child, right? So parent, child, lifecycle, hooks, that's the name of my component, very neat right and what i want to do here now is i want to get rid of this first let's go back here and let's go in here i'll call it my parent lifecycle component this is going to be a title for my lightning card right and i'm going to close this tag Here. perfect now inside this lightning card I want to actually create a div this div will have some space and inside this div I want to create a child component so I'm going to say child life cycle done now what is this life child life cycle I am going to take this name how do I create the name out of it kebab to camel so kebab to camel i'll just take the l make it capital remove the hyphen this is the name of my component take this component i'll create a new component child life cycle done save save i'll go to the parent i'll create the exposed as true see for those of you who have seen my tutorials from chapter one you are very much in the similar speed that i am right so i'm not going to slow down for you guys I'll put the home page because this activity we are doing for pretty much every LWC component that we are creating. So you don't have to waste time into, you know, seeing it and understanding it every time, right? You already know what it is. For those of you who are new to the channel or seeing this for the first time, you start with chapter one and this will make a lot more sense than it is currently. All right. Great. So I've exposed this component. I'm going to say deploy. What have I done very quickly in the last one minute? I created a LWC component. Inside that component, I called my lifecycle component, which is the child lifecycle. And I've got an error because I did not deploy the child first. So I have to deploy the child. I'll say deploy here. And once the child is into the Salesforce platform, I can deploy my parent. So there's always this dependency. I think this time it should deploy fine. Deployed fine. Perfect. If I were to go to Salesforce and let's close this now, let's go ahead and say edit. Get rid of this extra page. And here I should start seeing my parent child lifecycle hooks, right? I'll just get this guy here and I'll get rid of this component here. Done. Perfect. Parent lifecycle component. And within that, there's a child component, but I've not put any text in that. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. All right, let's go to the child component. And here in the HTML, I'm going to say lightning. Let's not put a lightning card. I'll simply say child component here. Perfect. Deploy. So the basic setup, the base tub setup is done. I'll also see I'm not exposing my child component because it is inheriting the exposure from the parent component. All right. So even though the child is not exposed explicitly, the parent is exposed and it is taking care of exposing the child also. And that's why you see the child component message showing. So you have the parent lifecycle component coming from the parent card, the child component message coming from the child component, right? Now my ask as part of this particular tutorial from you guys is drop a comment and tell me what do you think would be the order of execution in case of a parent child. If I were to go back here, these are the five callbacks, right? Based on what you understand, it's okay. You have not seen it yet. You don't completely understand. I have not shown it to you yet, but still take, take your time and kind of try to tell me these are the five things, right? That are the life cycle hooks for every component, correct? Now there's a parent component, there's a child component. So how would these be called? Would they be called multiple times as in two times each? If they are going to be called two times, which one will be first, which, which one will be second? Will the child callback be first will the parent callback be first just try to put an execution order 
pause the video do that for those of you who are following let's go ahead and try it out all right so what are we going to do we are going to go to the component that we built which is lifecycle hooks i'll go ahead and take this entire stub okay just so that i can reuse it in the child lifecycle js i'm going to paste it here what do i have i have the constructor the super extending the lightning element the connected callback rendered callback disconnected callback error callback right i'll take the same content and i'll paste it in the parent js also all right so that we can see the behavior properly done right same thing because every component has this hooks correct but now how will you identify i'll have to put some bifurcation so i'll say parent as a prefix on the parent console logs all right so that you know okay this is what loaded first this is what loaded second error callback will not see it let it we will ignore it and this is going to be child so i'll just say child callback child constructor child rendered callback perfect done let's say deploy let's say deploy okay done both are deployed let's go to salesforce let's refresh okay no change on the component i am going to say inspect element and i am going to go to the console i'll say delete and i am going to reload the component for those of you who answered just verify if your answer is correct or not okay refresh so when i refresh see what happens the parent constructor is called first all right why am i seeing a constructor is called let me just go back ah okay there is that other component also right i'll have to remove it so because see this constructor is called is coming from this other component that we have written here this one so for now let me just you know remove the console logs i'll not remove the component obviously let me remove the console logs from that component or else it will kind of confuse you so i'll go to life cycle hooks and here i am going to just comment out the logs or else you will see three different logs and it will for sure confuse you save deploy okay so we'll only see the parent and child ones okay let's go back refresh and now let's see the logs so the component has loaded here rendered also that's why we are able to see it now what is happening see parent constructor is called parent connected callback is fired child constructor is called child connected callback is fired child has been rendered and then the parent has been rendered this is the sequence of execution what does this mean this means that first of all the parent constructor was called it was basically inserted into the dom by the constructor and the connected callback once it was inserted the dom understood oh, okay it is holding a child component now what do i do okay let's call the child so they call the child constructor this is where the instance was created and the connected callback meaning the child was also loaded inside the dom within the parent component but now for the parent to be rendered completely the child should be rendered completely first correct so the child rendered callback is what fired first and once the child was completely rendered the parent was fine ha huh? okay the child is rendered now let me render so then the parent rendered was fired makes sense okay and if i were to click on the home button now you see the parent disconnected callback was called first and the child disconnected callback was called second let's verify whether your answer was correct and whether what we have on my note is correct or not all right so parent constructor is called first let's go back parent constructor is called okay parent connected callback is called parent connected callback is called then the child constructor and the child callback is called child constructor child callback but now here comes a twist because the child needs to render first the child rendered callback is called first and then the parent rendered callback child rendered callback then the parent rendered callback perfect but in case of a disconnection i notice that the parent disconnection has happened first but the child disconnection has happened second i'm not sure if it is 100% true every time but yes we can say that the parent disconnected callback will be called first and the child disconnected callback will be called second make sense so this is the sequence of execution of the hooks in a parent child scenario all right 
Now what can you try on top of this very simple use case that I showed? What can you try? You can try looking at a behavior when you basically try to call a button like I mean you know click a button here. Button code on click here. Okay. Have this here. Have this in the child HTML also. So you have two button clicks. When you click on the button on the parent, the parent call parent will be re-rendered or will the child be re-rendered? When you click on the button on the child, will the child only be re-rendered or the parent will also be re-rendered? Give this a try. Just see what happens. Okay. Try doing this as well. Try to pass a value from parent to child. You can do that by the API parameter, right? Pass the value. See what happens if any kind of callback is called again or not. This will help you understand the lifecycle a bit more better. All right. Great. So that's all I wanted to cover as part of the lifecycle hooks. I hope the order of execution and the order of the hooks is clear. This is this is not really that important in terms of, you know, understanding every callback because again, to be honest, you are only going to use the connected callback for most of your work. OK, you're going to do this a lot more because this is where you will do your server calls you know loading behavior all of this will be here so that's what we'll be exploring a lot when we wire when we use imperative when we use connected callback all right so focus on the connected callback but it is important from an interview perspective and from a foundational perspective that you know okay in case i have to do something when the rendering happens i have a rendered callback in my hand to do some stuff here in case whenever I'm disconnecting or going to another page, I want to alert, I can do that alert here or I can trigger something of that sort here. Okay. In case I have to handle something gracefully, more like an error coming from a child, but I don't know what has really happened. I can handle that here. So this knowledge of, okay, I can do this here or I can do it here is important. I'm not sure how much of this would you be doing it in real life with actual business scenarios, because this is going to be five percent of your work this is going to be 95 percent of the times you're going to use it constructor you're not going to write explicitly this is just for the understanding of understanding the sequence of the instance and the component that's it okay great i hope i was able to make sense of what i said and please do a comment uh, parent child hooks make sense if, you, if this is again clear and i hope you understand why the child rendered callback is called first because until the child is rendered the parent cannot be rendered right you cannot have an empty section and just render the parent if the child is not rendered make sense great great that's all i wanted to cover as part of this particular video in the next one we are going to look at events and notifications all right cool i'll talk to you in the next one bye